going to keep the inside right here x plus the square root of x yeah but not done yet because you see here we have that inside function so we have to differentiate that again because of the chain rule the derivative of x is 1 okay and then the derivative of the square root of x is that hey we have to add 1 over 2 square root of x huh? So did you guys see the mistake I made in the previous video for this derivative question? If so, comment down below. So of course, we will have to correct that. And let me show you guys the correct way to do this. And let me just redo everything again. Here we go. Differentiating this function. And let me remind you guys the derivative of the square root of x first. So here's the deal. When we have the square root of x, we can look at this as x to the one half power. Because this way, we can just use the power rule so bring the power to the front and then minus one so we will have one half x one half minus one is negative one half and then we can put this down to the denominator and write that as the square root again so this is one over two square root of x and i will recommend you guys to remember this result because we will be dealing with square roots a lot so be sure you just go from here to here from now on and here we go y prime for the derivative differentiating the outside square root we get 1 over 2 square root right just like this 1 over 2 square root and we will put the inside back here so we will have x plus square root of x plus the square root of x and now you know it's the time to use our chain rule look at the inside we will have to differentiate this and multiply with this, right? And let me just open a big parenthesis right now. The whole thing here will be the derivative of the inside. So now you can just imagine we don't have the outside square root anymore. So differentiating x, we just get 1. And then we are done with that. And then we will have to differentiate this. So let's focus on this part. Well, for this part, we have the square root again. So we will just do 1 over 2 square root. And then we put the inside here. So we have x plus the square root of x. All right? Why the last time, right, in the previous video, I closed the parentheses here and I multiply? That's incorrect. What we will have to do is, once we differentiate this square root, which is right here, we will have to use the chain rule again, right here. And we will have to look at the inside and multiply this with the blue portion, the inside. So that parenthesis really matters. So I really want to correct this and make sure that you guys understand. And usually this kind of question is really, really confusing at first. <laughs> All right. So now we see we have the x here. Differentiating that, we get 1. And then we add the derivative of the square root of x. And the derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. So it's like this. And in fact, you should always use the chain rule. You look at the inside of the inside here, but it's just that, you know, sometimes the chain rule might not matter because in this case, the derivative of x is just equal to 1. So if you multiply by 1, it doesn't change anything. And uh, yeah, so this right here, it's so it's supposed to be the answer right okay so hopefully this right here is more clear now and if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see more questions like this check out my playlist for more chain rule questions